Hey, this is Gabriel Castro from ExoticWebPen.com. In this video, uh, I am going to be talking about a uh, a uh, interlock kit, a power inlet supply, and generator hookup that we did for my house. And um, it's an 1100 watt generator, uh, 50 amp power supply, uh, actually bringing power into the house. So it's a power inlet box versus an outlet box. And um, I actually hired an electrician and I wanna give a shout out to my friend Robert Silva, who is my electrician. He did a fantastic job, thanks Robert. And um, without him, uh, I probably, I would never would have actually attempted it. Um, the reason being, I'm not comfortable for one, working inside a uh, panel like this. And uh, if you're not comfortable with it, then you need to hire an electrician. For those reasons, I'm not gonna actually show you how all the wiring was done. Um, the reason being is I don't want that responsibility. If you make a mistake, you can say, well, this guy on YouTube, I followed his tutorial and uh, something went wrong, your house burned down, who knows what. Um, so anyway, uh, for those reasons, I am um, not gonna show you all those details. If you're not comfortable working in a box or if you, or you don't know what you're doing, then you need to hire someone who does. That's why there are electricians out there and uh, they're more than happy to work. It's not an expensive job. They know what they're doing. They have the right tools and they know how to, they just know, they know the job. So hire an electrician if you don't know what you're doing. So uh, with that, we'll show you what we did. And uh, this process works very well. Worked the first time out, no trouble with anything. So like I said, hire an electrician if you don't know what you're doing. This is a 50 amp cable. And you can see by the size of the soda can, how thick that cable is it's more than an inch thick and uh, this should be fun to use for this project Okay, so this is the panel. After everything is installed, the first two switches, which were here, my electrician moved them from here to here, these two, from the number two and the number four position to number 14 and to number 16. This is the interlock. And in order for that to work, this has to be turned off to the off position sorry I'm uh, this has to be turned off like that then this slides up so that breaker can get turned on and then when this is in the on position this will energize the whole panel once the power is brought in from the box the power inlet box up there so the reason being why you want this is so you don't uh, hook up your generator to the house and forget to turn this off so you don't energize the line and electrocute someone, a power pole worker, working on the other end. So make sure this is off so this can be turned on so you can power the house by your generator. And then this goes to my generator. So the generator is a Win 1100 watt dual fuel generator, meaning it can run on gas or propane. And this is a 50 amp extension cord that I have used that I bought on Amazon which seems to be no longer available. Okay, now that that is connected, 
right there. I'm going to turn off the main, turn this up. So that's off. Okay, I'm going to start my generator. and everything is running. 